Co. Hey guys, Miss Co here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this pretty cherry blossom painting. If you want to check it out, then keep on watching. Materials you need, paper, a black marker, temper paint, a brush, and blue watercolor. Let's get started! So I already cut my paper into a circle shape. This is something that's optional. I just think that'll look good with the cherry blossoms. And the very first thing I'm going to be doing with my black marker is drawing a wavy line going across my paper. From there, we're going to turn this wavy line into a Y by adding another branch. And I'll add another one underneath. And from there, we're going to add some mini Ys. These are going to be smaller branches that go on our branches we just made. And I'll keep making it until I think that it looks right. Make sure to draw enough branches for your cherry blossoms to sit on. When you're done with that, we're going to make our branch thicker towards the base. The branch is always thicker towards the trunk and it tapers out and becomes thinner towards the ends. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Just like we did for our main tree branch, we're going to do the same thing to the smaller branches. We're going to make it thinner towards the top and thicker towards the bottom. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and add another branch from the opposite direction. I'm going to start off the same way as I did before. I'm going to draw a wavy line. Turn that wavy line into a Y. Add another branch and then add some mini branches alongside it. And just like before, we're going to make the branch thicker towards the trunk and thinner towards the end. Color that in. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and get some red and white temper paint. I put mines on a paper plate so it's easy to clean up later. We're going to be mixing these two colors to make our cherry blossoms. And for the very first color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a big scoop of white. And I'm going to move it onto a different part of my plate. I'm going to pick up a little dot of red, mix that in. And this is going to be the lightest tint of pink that we use for our cherry blossoms. I'm going to pick up another little scoop, put that in. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and on my paper, I'm going to make my flowers at the end of my branches and I'm going to make this by making tiny little stars. So I'm going to make a small line going down, line going side to side, and two lines going down. Make sure to pick up your brush after every stroke so it makes it easier. Add this on other places on my picture. If you can't make these flowers easily, that means that you might not have enough paint or water on your brush. Add a good amount until you're satisfied with how many you have, and then we're going to be ready for the next part. For our next part, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that white again, put it into the pile we just mixed, and I'm going to take a bigger scoop of red this time. This is going to make a darker tint of pink. I'm going to use this pink to make some more cherry blossoms and I'm going to overlap this with some of the cherry blossoms I drew already. And this is going to add a nice contrast to our branch. Add it all over. When you're done with that, once again, I'm going to pick up some red. I'm going to mix that directly into the pink that I have.
just like before i'm gonna add this into my picture and i'm just trying to think about balance i'm trying to see where the cherry blossoms will look good with this darker color When you guys are done with that, we're going to go ahead and mix the darkest cherry blossom. I'm not going to pick up any white this time because this is the darkest cherry blossom. We're going to add this into some of the spots, not too much. This is kind of like an accent color where it's not going to take up most of the picture, but it's going to just be added into some spots. This is something optional, but I'm going to pick up some red with my brush and I'm going to make some dots in the middle of my flowers. I'm not going to do this to every single one and I'm just going to add three or two dots on each one. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a red marker and I'm going to write my name on the side of my drawing. A lot of East Asian artwork has this red stamp on the side and this is used as a signature for the artist. I'm going to write my name and I'm going to make a border going around it like it was actually stamped. Whoops guys, I forgot to record the watercolor process, but once your tempera is dry, you guys are going to go ahead and get this blue watercolor and you're going to color in the background, avoiding all the cherry blossoms and going in between the spaces. All finished. And there you have it. You have your very own beautiful cherry blossom painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you guys are going to enjoy the cherry blossom season coming up soon. Please make sure to show me your artwork if you decide to make one. I would love to see it. Thanks. And make sure to subscribe to see more fun videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.